So making your bed may seem really mundane to people, especially for me. I'm gonna be honest, I don't do it every day, but I really do think it's the best way to have a successful start to the rest of your day. Think about it, your bed is the first thing you see in the morning and it's the last thing you see before you go to bed. And I really think people should take more time and appreciation into styling their beds. So not only is it stylish, but comfortable. I love going to hotels and analyzing the different types of materials that they use, how they, how minimalistic most of the time they keep their beds because of their turnover rate. We're gonna go over the best types of sheets to use. We're gonna go over the best types of pillows to use, the best ways to layer different textures on your bed, as well as the best sizing options for sheets, duvets, and pillow covers on your bed. I got you covered in this video, but before we get into all of that, we need to always start with our base. Your mattress is the foundation of a good bed. I wanna thank Lowe for sending me out their new Low Lux Hybrid mattress to try out for myself. I never saw myself buying a mattress without traditionally testing it out, but Lowe makes this process super easy and carefree, and I honestly don't think I'll ever go back to buying a traditional mattress the same way again. I love that Lowe literally just ships the mattress out to your house for free. I got myself a queen size mattress, and I was actually shocked that this size of a mattress and the thickness of this mattress was able to fit into a box. I, I'm still trying to process it, but not only did it fit in the box and expand to the size that it is right now, it's also really good quality. So you're not losing any type of quality by buying a mattress in a box. The unboxing process was really easy. I tagged in my boyfriend to help me. I think it's the best idea to do this, especially with the Low Lux Hybrid. The mattress is a lot heavier than your traditional memory foam mattress. So I cut open the plastic off the mattress and the bed literally began to expand right before my eyes. Traditionally, this Low Lux Hybrid will expand a lot faster than your memory foam mattresses simply because they do have individually wrapped coils inside the mattress. You definitely wanna use help when you're doing this, but I also love that Low adds these handles on the sides of the mattress. They make it very easy to maneuver the mattress around the bed frame, which is really helpful when you're trying to get your mattress in place. You definitely need to give the mattress at least 24 hours to fully expand, coming from a traditional spring mattress. I love that this Low Lux Hybrid mattress gives me the best of both worlds. So I don't have to jump in is it feet first or head first? I don't have to jump in feet first or head first, whatever it is, when it comes to trying out a, a completely different type of mattress. The Low Lux Hybrid mattress gives you the best of both worlds. It's the perfect mix of comfort and support, and I really, really love that about this mattress. This mattress has by far been more comfortable than my pillow top mattress, and the one thing I love about Low, even though you don't get to test the mattress out in a store, I still feel like you get the best perks of any other mattress store. You get 365 days to test this mattress out. And within those 365 days, you get to decide if you wanna keep the mattress or not. You can literally return it to them and get your money back in full. If you do decide to keep the mattress, you do get a lifetime warranty on the mattress. So it's a win-win situation here. <laughs> you really can't go wrong with this if you're in the market for a new mattress with the 365 day trial period, as well as a lifetime warranty thereafter. I do recommend giving Lull a try. You can click on my link down below to receive $300 off any mattress of your choice. And I wanna thank them again for sending me out this mattress for me to try. Once you've got a good base for your mattress, this is where you're gonna need a mattress protector. I highly recommend this. I've always used a mattress protector on all of my beds and I feel like a lot of people skip this and I'm not exactly sure why with sweat and dirt and you're climbing into your bed every day, even if you shower every day, your mattress will begin to soak that in. So I like using some sort of water protectant or water resistant mattress cover on my bed first. And if you've invested in a mattress, why not try and keep it as long as possible by keeping it clean with a mattress cover. The next step that we wanna talk about is the sheets. There are different types of sheets that you can use for your bedding. I like to go based on the type of material for my sheets. So I kind of gravitate towards linen sheets. I gravitate towards Egyptian cotton sheets. But specifically for the first look, I'm gonna go with 100% organic cotton. These are also a really good option at, because as you wash them, they get softer and softer over time. These sheets are from Target. They're from the Magnolia collection. Normally, I go with a simple white sheet set. That's normally what I've always done. But for this time around, I want to step out a little bit 
out of my comfort zone. Not too far, obviously, but I got a simple printed sheet set from Magnolia at Target. It has its very simple stripe patterns, and I think it adds just enough to add some sort of interest to the bed without being too busy on the bed. When you're adding on your flat sheet, if you, especially if it has a pattern, I'd say lay the pattern side down on the mattress. When you pull it back, the pattern kind of shows on the other side. And I've noticed that some people say to iron your sheets. I don't know who's ironing their sheets because I'm not taking an iron and putting it to my sheets. I don't have the time, I don't have the energy. So I'm gonna give you three easier ways to kind of get the wrinkle-free look when you're styling or putting your sheets on your bed. If you're getting them directly out of the dryer, take them out, you know, like 10, 15 minutes before they're completely dry. So you want your sheets to be about like 90% dry, but not like all the way dry. So slightly damp so that when you stretch it out over your mattress, the wrinkles will kind of release on their own. Plus the heat from the dryer will also help release the wrinkles by itself. The other option is just to use a spray bottle with water, regular water. I personally like to go the route of using a wrinkle release spray. It's a little bit better than the water option, particularly to me, because it also makes your sheets smell even fresher. So I love using this to kind of even out my sheets, make the wrinkles disappear. Before you put any other sheets on top though, be sure to let these sheets air out for like 10 minutes. That way you're not creating any kind of moisture environment where things can potentially grow and smells can potentially arise. So just let them air out about 10 minutes before you put anything else on top. So here's where I like to begin to add in the different layers. Especially in the winter, I'm a very, very cold sleeper. I've noticed it from my electricity bill this year and years previous. I sleep very, very cold and I like it very, very warm when I'm sleeping. I like to add in my first layer, which is a coverlet or a quilt. And I like to layer this on as my first layer of warmth. So in the summer, I can choose to use this as my only layer. And in the winter, if it's not hot enough, I have this additional layer. Or if it is too hot in the winter, I can pull this layer down or pull the, the next layer off. I also like adding this because it adds a little bit of texture and a little bit of separation from your sheet sets to your quilt to your last layer, which would be like your duvet cover. This is how you create the layered look in a bed. I like to do hospital corners. I like to save my hospital corners after I've added on the coverlet. This way it's kind of easy. I'm not repeating the same step multiple times. I just do one quick tuck. It makes for a very clean hotel aesthetic and a very clean look. I'm all about saving money on my channel. I love to find ways to save money. One thing I've learned though, especially as an adult, there's no way to save money on pillows. I'm sorry. The one thing I'm gonna say is to invest in your pillows. There's something you sleep on every night. I love that Lull sent me these down pillows because I love sleeping on down pillows. I think they're really easy to mold and fluff back up. You might spend a little bit more up front, but you save more money down the line because you're not replacing them as much. I usually do like to add two different types of pillow firmness though. So I'll have a firmer pillow and then the duvet pillow. So I usually keep four sleeping pillows on my bed. So on this first set of pillows, I'm going to have the regular white pillowcases that come with the sheet set. And then I'm gonna add these black contrasting pillowcases. I like to add that because it does contrast the color and it gives it a little bit more interest. I like to lay the pillows flat on the bed and I like to stack them on top of each other. So this leans more of a modern way of doing things. You'll see this at the hotels where they're normally stacked the pillows on top of each other. It looks cleaner. It's somewhat more formal in a sense, but it's also more modern. So my duvet is from Ikea. I can't say, I can't speak enough about this duvet. If you're looking for a very fluffy and warm duvet cover, Ikea is where to go. I'll link it down below. I promise you, this is a heavy blanket though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this bit blanket is very heavy, but I'm telling you, this is the best duvet I've ever had. If you have a duvet cover for a queen set, I always like to upsize. My duvet cover is a king size duvet. The duvet and the duvet cover are both king size. I think it just adds a little bit more to the bed. It makes it look fuller and it hangs off a lot better. For the duvet, I'm going to do a triple fold. This is kind of where you fold the duvet cover halfway down and then you fold it back the other way. I like this because it adds a lot of fluffiness to the bed, but for that easy hotel look, you'll notice that they don't tend to add a lot of pillows at night. You're usually not fussing with a lot of pillows at a hotel. They'll give you like one cute lumbar pillow to kind of remove, if that, which is why I like this approach and I think it's the easiest and it still makes your bed look very put together. There's not too many bells and whistles and if you have a partner who doesn't like pillows, they'll probably love this approach the best. This is one of my favorite beds that I have and I think it's the most modern approach and it's typically one that I lean to. So if you're looking for a modern approach and a very low fuss type of bed, this option is the best option. So my second option is for my pillow lovers. If you love pillows, 
and your partner loves pillows, this is a look for you. So I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. I'm gonna take off my printed sheets that I got from Target and I'm going to switch them to a linen cotton blend from the Magnolia collection over at Target. Linen just gets softer and softer over time and it will also last you a lot longer than other types of sheets like cotton and polyester for sure. So for this option, I'm going to layer the coverlet and the sheet set a little bit different. I'm going to pull the coverlet a lot further down to the bed as well as the sheet set simply because we're adding more pillows so we need more space for those pillows to kind of sit. As far as the duvet goes, I like to add the duvet and I pull this one all the way down to the bottom. And I typically do this because we have so many pillows, I try not to make the top of the bed look so heavy. So typically for a queen mattress or king, I think it's best if you're going to use more decorative pillows to either stick in the 24, 26, 22 inch range for pillows. I'm adding three 24 inch pillows. Be sure to overstuff your pillows. So if you have a 24 inch pillow, be sure to get maybe a 25 or 26 pillow insert and I got the pillowcases from Amazon I really love this simple pattern um, I have two matching on the end that are more khaki colors and then a black stripe one same pattern just different colors so I do have the other two pillows that I like to layer in front these are usually a 20 inch pillow and I kind of stuff them with 22 inch inserts and if you're a real big pillow lover you can even take this a bit further and add a lumbar pillow in front of this I also like to add in a throw as well same black throw that I'm using just the contrast off the colors that I have on the bed. And this kind of finishes off this second look. Okay, so for the last bed option, I kind of feel like this kind of falls in the middle, but it is like an all cream option or a more lighter set. I've actually really fallen in love with this option as well. Surprise, surprise, Sabrina's not adding all black to everything. With this option, I'm sticking with the same linen sheets that I had before. For the duvet, I'm going to layer it on and I'm gonna pull it up slightly a little bit closer to the top. This also gives me more of the more traditional vibe of a bed. For the pillows, I'll just use, I'll keep it very simple. I will do the two 24 by 24 decorative pillows and then I'll add in a one lumbar pillow. So you can either add like a smaller one but I'm really gravitating towards this brown leather one. So I think those are the three options that you can use for styling up a bed. I hope these were helpful. So be sure to leave in the comments. Let me know which one was your favorite option. Would you go with one, two, or three? Be sure to like the video because that's really important, okay? If you want other people to see my content, the easiest way you can do that is by sharing my content and by liking it as well. Also subscribe if you're new. So click on my face and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Thank you.